and welcome to another art lesson with me, Mr. Richardson. This activity is a continuation of a previous activity for my grade three students, where we created watercolor texture beetles. So if you haven't checked this out already, make sure you go um, subscribe to my channel and have a look at all of the videos that I have in my library, and you'll find this activity where we use texture to color in beetles and then apply water into it to turn it into watercolor effects. So today we're going to continue to add to this beetle picture here because there's a few things that are kind of missing. We need some details on it. So all you need for this activity is your previously completed watercolor texture picture of your beetle and you'll need a black texture. If you've got a fine liner, that's terrific. That would be very helpful to get smaller, skinnier lines or even if you've got a black biro, so like a black writing pen would be just as equally as good. So grab those things and let's get started. So you've got your completed texture beetle and we're gonna start with the texture. Now because a beetle is an insect, it has six legs. So it has three pairs, two in line with this middle section here, two in the middle and then two at the back as well. And they're kind of in sections. So you wanna start with a little rounded shape, which is at the top of the leg there. It's kind of like a capital D shape. And then it kind of, it's like a candy cane shape coming off it. You can close that bit too. And then it bends again and goes into sections. So one, two, three, and then it's got a little bit at the end. So you should have your front two legs there. And then very, very similar to the middle pair, only they face the opposite direction. So instead of facing forward and to the side, they face back and to the side. my three pairs of legs. And then you got things like the eyes at the front and do. And the antenna, which is very similar to the bottom half of the legs there. So for this particular beetle anyway, you can do them with straight lines if you want to. I'm gonna do these funky looking ones with this rainbow beetle. It's pretty much just these little shapes here. And so it just curves around. And same with this one. like so and then it's up to you whether you want to make certain parts of your beetle stand out so for example I can run my like texture over these bits here but I think that they're not clear enough after I put my water on them from the last activity and outline that if I want or I can just run through here Make it pop out some more. Do the bottom section. And you can also start decorating your beetle. So my beetle has got 
these little indentations in it, like little dots, so I can little C shapes. Just to show that. And then what you can do either with your texture, your fine liner or your black pen is you can start to add some decorations to your beetle. Now I know I've put these little dots here, but I've left these leg sections here open. I haven't colored them in. So I have got a selection here of different size fine liners. I know that you guys probably don't, but I'm gonna experiment with it. So for example, on this middle leg here. I'm gonna do some zigzag patterns on this upper leg. And I can continue to fill in the letter D shape there. So we do that with all of them carefully going around the outside. It's completely up to you what you want to fill in with your beetle in terms of patterns and line. So that's pretty much our focus today is the art element of line. A little bit of texture as well. So I've done those leg parts there. Um, I could, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So I'm gonna continue to add patterns and lines to my empty sections of the legs to give them some interest. And there is my decorated rainbow beetle. So I used a combination of my thick texture and I had a um, medium size black fine liner and then I had a really teeny one as well. But you use whatever you have got available at home. So if you've got a fine liner in your pencil case or if there's a black pen, uh, writing pen you can use, then that will be good for this activity too. I also had available, because I saw these at Officeworks and I can't help myself when it comes to art supplies. I saw these Crayola Signature Metallic Textures and I've been wanting to have a good reason to use these. So I pulled them out and had a go and just added some bling to my Rainbow Beetle. So again, I only did that because I wanted to add that because I had the markers available. If you've got gel pens perhaps, you could use those. So I know some of you have some glitter gel pens or pastel gel pens. So if you've got those, you can use those too. But I'm wanting to see lots of patterns and line markings and shapes on your coloured beetle, on the shell, on the head, and in the legs too. See what you can come up with. So here is my finished rainbow beetle. So I had a combination of the watercolour texture that I did for the main part of the beetle. And then once that was dry, I then used my black texture and my black pens to decorate using line and pattern and shape all over my beetle and on the legs as well. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's pretty much whatever I came up with in my head. It's like, oh, I feel like doing these triangles. Oh, I feel like doing some circles. Oh, what about some repeated lines there? What about some zigzags? What about some squares? What about, what about, what about? You could do whatever pops into your head and what you think looks good. So you end up with a beetle covered in patterns to make it really cool. I hope you had fun with this activity. I know I certainly did. I'm gonna pop it up on the fridge, I think. But for now, I'll see you next time. Take care.